Okay, uh, it's it's perfect that we have two shooters here, very good shooters, three-point shooters, because there's this raging debate uh, online on whether or not James Harden's, uh, I don't want to call it double step back, I call it the only step back, because it's a step back that goes on forever, if it's a traveling violation or not. And I need two of you to answer that question for the fans. So, I'll start with the Rookie of the Year. Yeah. Mr. Rookie of the Year. Uh, is Harden's double step back or step back a traveling violation or not? Technically, yes, but I love James Harden, so I'm going to say no. If I was refing, <laughs> if I was the ref for that game, I would never call a travel on James Harden. He can walk to the moon and back. It's not a travel. Only because you love James Harden. I love James Harden. That's not really an answer, but okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll take it. How about for you, Matthew? It is 100% a travel. Um, but the reason why he gets away with it is because he's established himself as a superstar. And, um, you know, the referees do know that he does have these fancy footwork maneuvers and moves that no one has really seen before or done. So I feel like the referees sometimes are just, you know, kind of caught by surprise and they'll let things go. But I feel like now that, um, you know, people have brought it to light, the referees are going to definitely look at it more closely and um, you know, probably penalize him on it next time he does it. How can, how can a referee by, be surprised by something? We see it all the time. Yeah. Um, I guess, you know, because that's one of his patented moves, right? The step back. Um, so it's like, um, you know, the referees are already assuming that you know, if he takes a step back or maybe if, even if he takes a couple, they're already assuming that he's, it's legal because, you know, he practices it all the time and that's his go-to signature move. But, um, you know, just like when Steph Curry did it, they called it right away. So uh, I feel like now that um, you know, people know what he's trying to do, that they'll be more weary of it. And um, you know, I don't know if he's going to get away with that for, for too much longer. Okay, so here's what we'll do. So that fans can clearly see kung traveling ba o yung hindi, yung step back to James Harden. We're going to have Matthew Wright and Jason Perkins do a demo here on the score. Matthew, can you show us a legal step back move? All right. So... <laughs> That's a legal step back. That's legal. Like, you can never get called tra no, for traveling for that. You shouldn't. All right. Now show us James Harden's version. Now, now, break it down very slowly. Why is that a traveling violation? Okay, so from the bounce, that's a step. So that's zero steps. And it's a one, two, three, four. That's basic math. It's easy to see it when you do it slow motion, but he does it so fast. That's why probably referees don't see it. But that's four steps right there. Then how come he gets away with it? Because he's a superstar and he does it really quickly. So do, do it again really, really quickly. Okay, referee Jason Perkins. That's a travel. That's, that's, <laughs> that's a travel. <laughs> I thought you loved Hardy. You said that wasn't a traveling violation. This is, me. this is me doing the move. If this is James Harden, that's clean. Okay, it's your turn, uh, Jason. Why don't you do it and let's see if it looks like a traveling violation or not. All right, this, I mean, technically it's, yeah, it's a travel. Uh, I'm going to do it this way since I'm left-handed. This is what I, what I see, his, his one set. He'll go here and skip backwards right there. And I, I guess, you know what? James Harden can do one of these. I won't. But. <laughs> I won't call that a travel, but I mean, te technically it's a travel. If, you, if you're on a, I guess it's different with Richie, when Richie Rivero does a, does a Euro step. Uh, do, the, do the Richie Rivero oh, super man. Euro step. You know, I've been practicing this for years and I still, okay. I think only he can do that, man. He has so many different kinds, like he'll come on a break, like, boom, boom. Is that a travel? No. Nope. Why not? Because he's landing on one foot. If, if James Harden were to do this, is that a travel? I don't know. Uh -huh. As long as you but, plant that. As long but, as the second one, I, as, as long as the second one is planted, yeah. and he but shoots James, it. But James Harden is planting another foot right here. Boom, boom. Yeah. Travel. And then why is it so unfair for defenders? Like you try and defend the Harden only step back, and you tell the fans why it's incredibly unfair for a defender. So I'll be arm's length, right here. Yeah. Right here. So I put my hands up. Look at the space that he creates. You can see the rim. There's nothing impeding his vision. Yeah. That's an open shot. So he's basically creating a wide open shot. Yeah, and basically the defender, the only way you can do that off, you have to you either gotta let him shoot it or you gotta or lunge if you, forward. If you play tight on him, he's gonna blow right by you. 
So he makes you choose, you know, he makes you pick poison. Like, which one do you want? Do you want me to kill you with a shot, or do you want me to kill you with a penetration? And then when he gets into lane, he can finish, he can pass. It's pretty unguardable. Okay, so we, of course, assume that Harden really works on this move like 24 hours a day. How come you guys, you can do it, but have you, have you ever tried doing it in a PBA game? I'll do a step back. Um, I've, I've been using a step back. I feel like that's an effective shot, especially for me. Um, just to create space, you know, for a shooter, all you need is a little bit of daylight. But, um, yeah, maybe I'll try it in the PBA, see if I can get away with it this year. I'll, get, I'll wait for that. <laughs> How about you, Jason? Will you ever do it in a PBA game? Um, I mean, if the opportunity comes, uh, I don't really think about what I'm doing in PBA games, games, but if it comes, I'll do it. I tried it in a scrimmage. But the only reason I did it is because it was against Norbert Torres, <laughs> and I was trying to I was trying to embarrass him a little bit. But the shot didn't go in. But all right. So again, just to be very very clear, failed the basketball fans uh, all over the world. I'll ask it again: Is James Harden's step back, trade Bart step back, a travel or not? I think James Harden's a great basketball player. He's very fundamentally sound. It's a great move, but it's travel. Jason. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that was a fun demo. I'm, I'm glad that you enlightened all the basketball fans with regards to the uh, Harden uh, step back. But I also know that the Phoenix fans, wow, cannot wait to see you guys. I mean, really bring it for the new season. So what is your message to uh, your fans? Uh, Jason, I'll start with you. Um, to all the fans of the PBA and Phoenix, I uh, just want to thank you for supporting us. Um, we got a big season come up, coming up. Um, come on, watch us. It's going to be a good show. So, thank you again. Matthew? Uh, we would like to thank all the Phoenix Fieldmaster supporters. Um, you know, you guys are the best. Um, you know, we, want, we continue to ask for your energy at the games. Um, you know, be our sixth man. Help us get through slumps. And, um, you know, we do it for you guys. So, um, you know, have faith in us this conference. It should be a fun one. Uh, Jason Perkins and Matthew Wright, guys, thank you for joining the show and good luck in the PBA season. Thank you. Thank you.